All right, now, this material body is connected to the soul and the spirit body is connected to the soul. The reason why I've got these little things here, this is called a, the, there is a connection that the spirits themselves call a silver cord. I don't know if any of you have heard of that terminology. What the silver cord is, is it connects all of the sensory apparatus in your physical form to your soul. And the reason why it does that is so that this soul can absorb the sensor, sensory information coming from your body. Does that make sense? And there's also another cord that connects the spirit body to the soul as well. And most spirits don't even know about it. There are only some spirits called celestial spirits, which are in the eighth dimension or above, that actually know about it. Does that make sense? So you've got to remember when you're talking to spirits, that spirits themselves think they know things just like they knew them here on earth, when often they may be wrong, right? So just because somebody says, I know this and they happen to be a spirit, it doesn't mean it's true. And you're going to have to investigate truth. Does that make sense? Yeah. And what I'm going to do is present an, an, an idea to you of how to investigate the truth. And it involves you connecting to God. Because when you connect to God, the source of all truth, God starts telling you truth. Right? And we'll talk about how that happens. But uh, these spirit forms and material form, they are the sensory apparatus of the soul, if you like. So you can think of them as a tool, or I often call them a robot. So this is robot number one, right? Robot one. Uh, what is it, R2D2? No, 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 wait a second. Uh, robot number two, right? So when robot number one wears out, you go on to robot number two. Does that make sense? Right? Or if robot number one gets so damaged that it can no longer sustain life, you go on to robot number two. And, and robot number two has far less damage generally although it can be damaged, and we'll talk about how that's the case. So, think of yourself. Your physical body is actually a robot or an apparatus that your soul is using to experience the physical world. Follow me so far? Your spirit body is an apparatus or a body that your soul uses to experience the spirit world. And you'll get to a time in your progression where you don't need anybody. I mean anybody. Not anybody. <laughs> any physical form, any spirit form, right? 